It's your boy King Brando. What's up, Brando fam? How you doing? How you living? All that good stuff. Summer Slim just happened, and to me, it was a great pay per view. Um, and yeah, we got we got some stuff to talk about. I'm only talk about two things on this one. I'm not waiting on the highlight channels and stuff because one, they taking too long, and two, you know, WWE copyrighted the one that I did yesterday with the highlight video on it. So I'm gonna try this one without it, see if you know it gets a good engagement and people watch it or whatever. But this one is basically just gonna be me. Not watching the highlights, but me just talking about the uh, thing that happened. So the two things I want to talk about, y'all should know this. The two R's, Ronda Roman, okay? Let me do the Ronda thing real quick because that's going to take a little bit because the match was a little bit. Uh, to me, that match was structured like Kevin Owens versus Goldberg. Alexa did a little thing. She kind of, you know, had the, to me, she had a little comedian role or whatever, like how KO did. But KO's was funnier because, you know, KO, it's my boy. Uh... Speaking of R.I.P. K.O. Man, why they why they do my boy like that? I, I really I really wanted to shoot the ones with Strowman G. I really wanted to shoot the ones with it. Could G. I'm like, bro, y'all can't do my boy like that. I wanted to be like Strowman G. Meet me outside, bro. We gonna shoot the ones because you ain't just gonna squash my boy K.O. like that. Cause I'll do it to you, bro. But then I had to think about it. I'm like, he, you know, probably six foot eight, three hundred something, probably whoop my ass. So I'm like, you know what? Cool, do what you do, I'm gonna do what I do. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Ronda Rousey, Alexa Bliss, set up like a, um, like that Goldberg KO, uh, fight. I thought that was perfect for this thing, because it shouldn't last that long, because, you know, Alexa, she ain't that good in the wrestling part, in the actual wrestling part. She ain't gonna give you no, you know, four-star match and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was great for what it was. Ronda, your champ. Pretty much, that's it. I knew it was something y'all was going to want me to talk about. But yeah, let me get to the part where I really want to talk about. The main event. The main event, the main event, okay? Last match of the show. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. G, started off so real, so raw, G. For real. Because guess what, G? Strowman came out after Brock and Roman came out. He like, bro, came in the ring, told him, give me a mic. He said, he said, I know how y'all used to stuff happening, but me, I ain't gonna do it that way. You know what I'm gonna do? I got this briefcase, and whoever win, I don't care if it's you, Brock, or you, Roman, y'all gonna get these hands, and I'm gonna take your title. Simple as that. Left the ring, start watching the match. I'm instantly like, oh my god, G, y'all missed out on a great opportunity, one, but two, like, G, dude, so real, but they missed out on a great opportunity, because he should have did it afterwards, after. Somebody won and then said it like that because it would have been better because he could have cashed in and won, which I thought would have been the best, you know, way to wrap up this whole thing. Because guess what? You get a um, triple threat or, you know, another feud. That's That was my best case scenario. But, you know, after that, he left the ring. Brock Roman started fighting. And I'm like, gee, I don't know how uh, Brock going to you know, handle this because he's going to have to look. Back for Strowman and look for Roman. And then Roman just started taking it to him. Hit him with three Superman punches. Boom, boom, boom. Hit three spears. Boom, boom. Last spear, he hit him. But then Brock, oh, God, he did some raw stuff. I'm sorry I'm talking like this. But, gee, he did some raw stuff. He hit him with a guillotine. He boom, bam, boom. I'm sorry for the sound effects, too. I got to, you know, I don't got no highlight channel, so I can't really, you know, let y'all see it, so I gotta kind of show y'all. I hit him with the guillotine when he hit him with the spit too. I'm like, oh, he finna tap to this, cause he did it to him before. I'm like, gee, this might be his new, you know, his new finisher or something. You know, like you know how he had that old old uh, submission thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking he finna put him to sleep. Nah, no, Roman hit him with spine bust. Put him in the guillotine again. Roman hit him with spine buster. Boom, um, boom. Then next thing that happened, Roman uh, tried to spear him again. Brock got out the way. He dived on the strongman. And then, what happened after that? Oh, yeah. Then, uh, Brock went out there. He threw Roman back in the ring. Then he started beating up Strowman. He hit him with F5. Boom, boom. And then he started beating him up with uh, the briefcase and the chat. G, that was so funny. I'm like, G, he still going to come back and get all these hands and get all that work. And then KO going to come back and take it from him. Because, you know, they got to Why y'all got to do my boy KO like that? That match wasn't even, like, three minutes. It wasn't even like three minutes. But yeah, uh, he started giving it to him outside. Then he threw the briefcase, which I'm like, gee, you're the GOAT. You're the GOAT, Brock. You're the GOAT. And then I'm like, dang, this means Brock's going to lose. And I, I was thinking that because I knew it. I knew it was going to happen, G. 
Then next thing you know, Brock get back in the ring, and I'm like, he finna lose because he thinking about Strowman and Roman. Wow. Wow. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But yeah, he thinking about Strowman and Roman, and then he like, he, he ain't really focused, so he got back in the ring. Roman just thinking about winning the title, period. Period. And then he get in, he hit him with another, I think he hit him with another Superman punch, and then another spear. And then, that's basically it. Roman, your new champ. I thought, you know, if you wanted Roman to look as strong as possible, you have him come back in, do all that, but then Brock kick out. Then he do it again, and then he win, instead of just having it be like, because he was tired from beating up Strowman. That's what I thought y'all should have did. But, I mean, hey, y'all running the promotion, not me. I don't care. What do I know? What do I know? But, yeah, that was your, uh, to me, the two biggest matches. Yeah, two biggest matches. Two title changes, the the two biggest title changes, uh, but yeah, now you oh now you can look forward to November Survivor Series. You got Ronda, you got Charlotte. You don't even gotta book it. You just gotta say them names, and then it's over with. People going to watch, and then yeah, with the Roman thing, I think he gonna go on and do some good stuff. I think he need to drop it to uh, Finn at Royal Rumble, then have my boy KO win the Royal Rumble. KO Finn. Boom. Boom diggity. Or switch it around. Whichever way you want to. High KO win it. Finn win the Royal Rumble. But if he win the Royal Rumble, I want Finn to go to SmackDown. But yeah, it's me, your boy King Brando. I actually watched the pay-per-view, y'all. I actually watched the pay-per-view. I'm finna do how the uh, wrestling channels be doing. They be like, breaking. Roman Reigns is the new Universal Champion. Yeah, I'm finna do that. And then I'm gonna add in the description. The little, look, cause it was a little mini rant. But yeah, it's me, your boy King Brando. Peace. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the uh, pay-per-view. It, it was a great pay-per-view. Yeah. Yep. See y'all next pay-per-view. I told y'all I was only going to be doing like the major stuff, like the pay-per-views and stuff. Unless something happened on Raw or SmackDown that's worthy. But yeah, it's me, boy King Brando. Peace. Yeah.